take your handy dandy pink USB stick slider in there power on we're gonna watch up here we're looking for what they want to hit the boot menu usually you can F1 2 and 3 at all the same time but on Dell's it's F12 we gotta tell it where to boot from and yes we want to boot from the USB storage device I have uh, Linux CNC with Debian Wheezy but as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to this I could run the live system as it is and that's what we're gonna do right now just to give it a try now that she's fired up you take her for a test drive, check it out. Once she's booted up here, you just go down here, install CAE Linux, and follow the instructions on the screen. I speak English. Select the options you want. I, if you're not positive, just go ahead and tell it to do all of it. Uh, if you're not connected to an internet connection, you're not going to be able to download uh, updates, but you can always go in and do that later. I will have another video explaining how to do that. The reason I'm replacing Debian Wheezy with uh, Xubuntu and CAE is because the latency on this uh, Latitude E6410 is uh, way too high to control a machine and I'm not going to control it with a laptop anyway. Central time zone. I like that it's graphic. Well, not Chicago, but mm -hmm. English, English. Yep, we'll do English, English. Your name. This is where it gets all kinds of interesting. We'll go ahead and take care of that because y'all know who I am. Apparently it nuked my computer. <laughs> All right, I know it's a pain in the butt to see, but uh, installation is finished. You can continue testing CAE Linux 2017 now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So we'll just go ahead and restart. And once it powers off, we'll pull this out. And then it wants to press enter. And we're off. And we'll save the pretty print pink stick for next time. Because there's always more computers that need to be Linux fied. You can leave it on that, or you can always hit enter and it will go ahead and jump into that. Forget Ubuntu doesn't run all the script on there like uh, Wheezy does. And we're up. Ultimately, this took about a half hour just to let the computer sit there and do its thing. Uh, of course, I'm still connected to the internet. There's, you need to get in here and play around, see what they have. But the reason I chose this is because it comes preloaded with the Arduino IDE, the Gerbil View. I don't know why I'm doing all this now because I will do a screen share of this where I can actually get a good view of it. So y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.